All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Sable. We're here at the top of the world, and we're tasked with making our own bike because the town bike maker totally spaced on making my bike. So, I think that there's, if we look at our navigator here, let's go ahead and hit N. Using your navigator, press N to use the navigator to mark interesting landmarks to appear on your compass. You may, you can also add and remove markers from the map screen. Try placing a marker on the ships. Oh, uh, uh, wow! Place marker on where the ships were. Hmm. I think they said there was something up here in this direction. That looks about right. And so this is very interesting. So I'm moving in three-dimensional space here where my marker is. So I'm kind of ch uh, charting where things are. So I'm just going to kind of, I'm going to place it right here. Let's place it there. So marker's placed. Um, let's see here. How do I exit? N. Back. Won't get me out. Tab. Back. Left. Hmm. What does exit mean? What is the exit button? Or am I supposed to place three markers before it will let me do anything? I don't know. I, I try and remember where the other pieces were. That looks like a place I should probably explore. Oh wow, I'm really far out there. Let's see, let's try here. So let me just place that there. It's not really telling me where exactly these pieces are. Oh, I think I, think I also remember something about that place. Alright, now I just need to figure out what button lets me exit. N was the navigator, but that's not letting me do anything. Escape forever stuck in the navigator, folks. What will we do? How do I get out? Oh, I just placed another one. How do I get rid of it, though? I don't know. Oh, backspace. That's what the back arrow means, means backspace. What? I would never have guessed that off the top of my head, is that, that I'd be using the backspace button for something. All right. I want to see what's over here, see if it'll let me glide over to this, this person. Oh, I think I'm going to make it. Yes! Well, look at these two people. All right, you first. Ilaria. The balloon was more fun than the person in it. Thank you for that wisdom, child. All right, and you. I approached the cartographer. <laughs> look at his... Look at his getup. That's awesome. Ah, greetings, child. Cartographer George Warden. I saw you looking longingly at my great balloon. Uh, quite a piece of work, isn't she? Longingly? I clarified that I was looking... Oh, <clears throat> I clarified that I was looking curiously, and that balloons aren't exactly my ideal vessel. The newcomer shrugs. Fair enough. I suppose when you can ensconce yourself in the peaceful little bubble and float down from the sky, the balloon loses some of its charm. But I'll accept your curiosity. I give the balloon an approving nod so that he doesn't feel too bad. Well... Good to meet you, and, oh, I should introduce myself. I'm Jordan. I tell him I'm Sable. Suppose if you've come all this way to see me, it's probably a map you're after, eh, Sable? I would love a map. I came to see the balloon. Do I need a map? I would love a map. I tell the, t I tell the cartographer I'd love a map. Of course you would. That would be 50 cuts. If you're leaving on your gliding, Sable, you'll definitely need a map of, your, of the ewer, at least, and I'll sell you one for only 50 cuts. To my ears, it's a fair price for a map, but too expensive for a pre-gliding glider with empty pockets. I'll tell Jordan. I tell Jordan I'll be back. I need to ask Jaddy for some money. Farewell, child. All right. So let's go ahead and get on that bike and go out and find our bike. Oh, I must have not pushed the button long enough. Look out for the ibex. No. 
kind of like an ibex. It's got horns, but I'm pretty sure that's just supposed to be some sort of weird ram. They all have different horns. What is wrong with that species? Get, get unified in what horn shape you're doing. Alright, let's get on the bike. So, okay, so if I hit... Okay, so now that I've got my compass up and I've done all the scouting and navigating, it shows me all of the blue pips that I put down. So, I think up here is one of them. And it's the closest. It seems like a point of interest at the very least. So we'll start here first. Whoa. Whoa. We got a, whoa. We got a little something in here. So let's figure out what this is. E Nothing. <laughs> okay, well that was disappointing. Let's see. I don't know if I'm supposed to jump on top of that. Oh, is it like... Oh boy. Okay, so we're going to platform up here it seems. Let's see if we can do this. Let's see, we're going to jump. There we go. Up. Jump. Up. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't. No. Mm-mm. Uh-uh. Wrong way. Oh, gosh. It's really... Can, I, I'm not entirely sure exactly where I'm supposed to go with all of this. Like, if I'm able to climb certain things or not. Like, some of the things are really easy to tell that I'm supposed to climb it. And other things, it's like she does or doesn't do. Like, that pillar... Oh, dang it. Like, the... The first pillar, the one here I jumped onto, it climbed it just fine, but... Oh, okay, jump before I then get on it. Alright. Jump! There we go. Alright, and see... Nope, see it didn't let me climb it that time. It was all about climbing it the first time, but not this time. Okay. Maybe I can just jump straight over. Maybe I'll just try the easy way. Oh, see? I should have just started there. Okay, so we got something going on here, something growing. Oh gosh, it's one of these things. Wait a minute, was that thing that I already collected? No, that's just another chum egg. God, I, the weird sounds that these things make. It must be a good place to put them. Don't know what that place is, but something is going to happen. Okay, so... I'm not seeing anything that looks like a vehicle part. Um, but it definitely was a point of interest because the chum egg was here. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look. Um, give me blessing. Okay, so I need to find a pow control panel, power supply, and atomic calibrator. Problem is that I cannot remember where they told me that those were. I might have to go talk to them again in order to figure that out, which is a little bit annoying, but I guess I should have just paid attention the first time. So, so I can climb that for some reason. Interesting. It is very curious what things I can and can't climb. Let me just climb. I'm just going to go up to the top again. I'm just going to ask her again if she can point out where things are because I am really at a loss. I'm like, did my bike just die? What happened? Okay. Let's try this again. Here we go. Try not to get dizzy. All right. Help. Oh, gosh. So, I need to find the control panel, I need to find the atomic power supply, I need to find those things, but I cannot for the life of me remember where they told me to go. So, I'm going to guess that it was over there. 
This is what I get for not paying attention. Just thinking that the game was going to hold my hand on that one. That it would just be in my inventory at the end of the day. Alright. I think... Uh, I think that that place over on the left here is one of the places. So let me go ahead and start there. On the road again. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, Mike. Okay, it did die. Okay. So, it's not... I'm not imagining it. My car did... Or my bike did indeed totally just crap out on me. Okay, so I'm seeing some stuff up here. I'm gonna see about... Ah, see about that. I wonder if I can climb this. See what it'll let me do. Okay. It's totally letting me climb the side of this. Alright. But, no more. Okay. <laughs> oh! So, yeah. So I'm not entirely sure what... Oh, there's a, there's a stamina bar in the the diamond there. Okay. So that's that's what we have to go on. So I need to find a higher place or a lower place to climb. Okay. That makes a lot more sense. Alright, so we've got some parts here, but I don't know if it's what I need. Um, there's one of those worm things. God, these chum eggs. I don't know what it is about them, but it's creeping me out. Just, I don't know if it's the, the chum part of it, or if it's the weird noise that it makes, or the fact that it turns into an egg holder. I don't know. They just, they really creep me out. I don't know if that was the designer's intention by that, but, uh, sorry guys, it creeps me out. It's like the fact that it looks really cute and innocent, and then it turns into an egg holder and makes a weird noise. Alright, let's go over here. Ugh. You know what's funny is this game actually is giving is making me really want to go back and play Outer Wilds. Just kind of this exploration part. Oh, we got a thing that has nothing in it. Oh! Oh, it doesn't it actually does have stuff in it. I'm not I'm getting those uh money things that we're talking about. Can't remember what the currency in this game is. I also don't know if my if my keyboard is crapping out on me or if the game is not responding to my inputs here, so I'm just gonna try and fix that real quick. See if I can make sure that that actually works for me. I got a bug of some sort. Did I see that? There was a bug here, right? Oh, there we go. Bugs. What are you doing? Come back. Oh, he dug underground. Okay. I can already tell that there's going to be some sort of thing that's like, you must collect five of these bugs. And I'll be like, I don't really want to. And they'll be like, too bad. You must collect the bugs or else I won't give you your carburetor. Oh no, not another one of you guys. Ugh, okay. Alright. Okay, alright. Hey, give me your egg, thank you. Thank you. God, these eggs better be worth it. Alright, so again, I'm in a place. I've explored it. It's cool, but I still have no bloody clue where my vehicle parts are. This is the point where I wander aimlessly around, trying to figure out how to play the game. Let's get back to my motocicleta over here. 
Okay, so stamina drains that bar as well. Or running, sorry, sprinting drains that bar as well. Okay, going up the hill. Going up the hill. Let's figure out what's in here. Better be a bike part. Okay, so nothing there. giant generator here. Alright, alright. So let's see if we can just get over into this. So it seems like maybe the only restriction to my climbing would be running out of stamina, but we don't have any restriction in our gliding bubble here. a situation of, yes, we're going to put the power in the power box. Yes. Let us get in the little bunker here. What? Alright. Alright, so... Gosh, well, this is really cool in here. It's hard to not draw comparisons to other games. Um, like, I'm thinking like Horizon Zero Dawn where you got kind of like this natural world with nomads and stuff, but then there's like these secret bunkers and, and whole technology. Hey, we got the atomic control panel! Ships of old. Obviously, I haven't fought any monsters yet, so I'm pretty sure that that's not part of this game, but it sets a, it sets a nice tone to, um, to feel that the, the two games are... I mean, because I love Horizon Zero Dawn. That was definitely one of my favorite games I've ever played. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to climb this, am I? Oh, I did it! Suck it! Alright. Get on the bike. Alright, now let's hope I can figure out where the heck... Oh, I'm sorry, excuse me. Oh, oh damn, oh sorry. Okay, excuse me. Alright, ah! Uh, okay figure out where everything else is. Alright, so I'm gonna guess, since these are like vehicles of old, we're gonna use our deduction here. And we got this like old temple looking thing here that we went inside. I'm gonna guess that the other two places we're looking are not gonna just be sitting in the middle of the desert. They're going to be in temple-like things like that on the horizon over there. So let's go ahead and see about that. I'm also seeing some ouch. I'm also seeing some orange over there, which kind of looks like the power that I just used to open that door. So uh, maybe that would be some place to check out as well. Look at me, I'm so smart. I'm figuring things out. I got one of my three items. And now we have ourselves at a door, and we don't know how to get through it. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that this is not where I'm going to get a part for this bike, but in fact that is going to be how I get to the rest of the world when I'm finally able to leave this little pocket. So, we will leave that for now. Check out this glowing orange thing. Boy, I really hope that, it, that the part I need is in here and that the other location is, is really easy to find. There's going to be some crazy platforming here. Alright. Let's give this a try. Try, try again. Alright. Cool. Can I climb up the brick? Let's try this. Come on, you can do it. 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 Yes. Alright. You can do it. I 
bird. Okay. So let's get up there. Mountain, where I'm assuming is that that's the place we're supposed to go. Okay, I think I see the orange. Oh, it's way over there now. Am I doing this right? I'm gonna go up here, just cause. At some point it became night and I didn't even realize it. So I'm imagining then this game has a day and night cycle. That's my uh, thought. Oh, nope, nope, there's a box! I need to get up there. Okay, got some money! Come back when you get some money, buddy! power supply, literally. Like, that's just what we need. That's it. Cool. Oh, 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 don't. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, dear. Alright. Oh, and there's something up there. So let's get the money. Oh, a cache of a hundred cuts made from metal harvested from crash ships. They have holes punched through the middle where a rope can be slid for easy and convenient transportation. Very, um, very old school. Uh, the, kind of the Renaissance era and things like that. You just have them on a string. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that's all we're going to find at this location, so we just have to figure out where in the heck last location is for our what is it the atomic calibrator all right well we haven't really gone deep into the canyon here yet so we're just going to kind of curve around this way and see what we find This was once a great sea, but, alas, the gods decided that they wanted to rid us of all water, so they drained it. They pulled the plug. Did I get a little, ah, I got a little of the underworld there. Okay, so, okay, so we've already done that. I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is the, not the temple, but the, the shrine where I learned to glide. I hear something. What do I hear? I heard something weird. Okay, I'm just imagining things. Cool. Uh, maybe it's just my motorcycle dying. So now I am stuck, because I'm not sure I see this last piece. Maybe it's up here? Or around here? I thought I went through here before to get to the shrine. I think I did. Yeah. There's nothing on this side over here. Unless it's in the shrine. Which it very well could be, because I didn't really explore that. I kind of just... kind of just collapsed. I seem to recall them pointing towards that rock there, but I don't see any way up there. So, to, for it to be over here might make sense for it to be here? I don't know. Let's try it. What? Schleiman. Oops. 
Excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry. Excuse me. All right. Let's just see. Got to have been really nice if they had let me know that there was like a magic thing in here that I need for my my bike when I was over here. But I'm probably wrong, and it's probably not in here. And I'm probably going to waste my time going in here. But all in the name of exploration. Alright. So we got this thing again. Naked crouching guy. That broke. Yeah, and I just took that. So, I don't know. There's not really... I don't think there's anything over here. Let's see if I can climb this. Oh, I can. That's cool. So once you kind of figure out that you can climb things, but you're going to run out of stamina, it, it definitely helps, I think. It helps everything work a little smoother. Right, let's see if... Okay, that's where I went. Okay. Oh! Elevator came down. I wonder if it'll take me up. I have to, oh, there we go. So they're like, yeah, yeah, you, you poor child. You think that you're supposed to be here, but you're not. Go back up. Get out of here. Nobody needs that kind of energy. Nobody needs you to be here right now. You need to be finding the last part, and you don't have any clue where it could be. Because you didn't listen and pay attention. Let's do this. Up get. Excuse me. Didn't mean to get that close. Alright. Sun's up now. Yeah, I, I like how gradual the day and night cycle is. I mean, I know that's kind of the point of a day and night cycle, but not a lot of games, like... I don't know. It kind of reminds me of Minecraft, how gentle it comes in. Okay, now that I'm on top of the world, do I see anything around here? Let's see. Just that thing. And that's it. Aside from the place that we went in at the very, very beginning of the game, with the big face, um, I don't know... There's nothing else that I can think of in this area. Maybe, let's just go back. Let's go back to the Majestic Machine Lady. And, um... Let's see about, uh... Oof. Let's see if she gives us any further... Ooh. No, that looks like the... No, in the background, I'm pretty sure that's the temple I was in at the very beginning of the game. Let's see if she gives me any more pointers. Also, let's see if so-and-so gives me money so that I can buy that map. Because I want that. Oops. I want... Who is it that gives me money? I should speak to Jaddy to get some cuts. Okay, so... I know who Jaddy is. She's my best friend. Alright. Village elder, best friend, you know. Same thing. I tell Jaddy that the cartographer wants 50 cuts for a map of the Ewer. I try to hedge the way I speak about this, as I'm not entirely sure whether that's too much, not enough, or precisely its value. Here's some money to get you going on your journey. Use it most wisely, and then a little unwisely when the mood strikes. It's good to know the value of money, but you never want to be ruled by it. I thank Jaddy effusively, and head out on my way. Cool. I should buy the map. I think I shall. But first I'm going to try and figure out what this last piece that I'm looking for is. Alright. Do not get motion sickness as we climb up to the top. I mean, there could be more there. I don't know. Let's see if she helps me. If she seriously just tells me, oh yeah, you just need to find the last piece, I might throw something at her. Just saying. 
Sizo is waiting for the parts. I still need to find the atomic calibrator. Oh my gosh. Okay. Mm hmm. All right. Let me see. Let me get the map. Hover down to this guy. It's like there's something over there, but I already went there. I checked that whole place out. Greetings, child. I'll buy that map. Perfect. Let's trade then. Oh, right. A map of the Urso by the members of the Cartographer's Guild. I want to select. I want one. I seem to have nothing left for you. I have the map now. So now what do I do? I close screen. I close screen. I close screen. I thank Jordan for the error map and all its vast possibilities. Something about this makes me feel more real. Good luck on your gliding sables. I still remember mine. I ask how it was. Short. I knew since I was a boy that cartography was for me, but I spent a little extra time out there just to enjoy the world. Speaking of, keep an eye on the skies, eh? Plenty of my colleagues out there, and they'll have more maps to sell you, from Hakoa to the Sorek Waste. I thank Jordan I thank Jordan for the tip and say goodbye. Farewell, child. Quest log. I completed that. I'm guessing this is my map. This is my map. Can I I can add markers from the map. But there's not really any other places. I already went here. Oh. I just added a marker to where I'm standing. I already went here. Maybe I mean maybe it is back over here. Maybe that is where I'm supposed to go. I don't know. Let's just look for the um, look for the telltale glowing things that show power of the old people or whatever it's called. Alright. Oof. Ouch. Got oh, sorry. Sand cutter. that. Do I know what this is? Have I seen this before? It's another part of a boat! Why are there boats in everything? Can I go inside of it? Ooh. <gasps> is this the place I need to go? There's a little power. <laughs> oh my gosh. What is this? <gasps> Gimme, gimme. I'll just float here for a second. Don't worry about me. Alright. There's nothing of use to be found on the ship, but I notice a blinking light flashing on the dashboard of the cockpit. Push the button. A voice crackles from the machinery in front of me. It sounds like a recording. It's barely audible. Stop messing around with those buttons, you absolute idiot. The distinct sound of someone slapping somebody else's hand cackles, uh, crackles out of the speakers. Sorry, Ramen. Concentrate. I don't think I I don't think I have to remind you how much work it was to get this far. We're almost there. Alright. Let's see if what that old machinist told us holds up. If not, there'll be hell to pay. Some sort of mechanical adjustments seem to be made uh, to be being made, and I hear the sound of three clicks, buttons being pressed, perhaps. Okay, when I push this orange thing, pull that lever. Hard. Yes, Ramen. The sound of a click and a loud grunt before a snapping sound. Oh, on Rahana's mask, not that hard. You've torn it out. Suddenly, the speakers are filled with static, crackling, and a low rumble that seems to gradually increase in pitch and frequency. And then the sounds of someone cheering. It worked! We're flying! What sounds like an ungainly person dancing around on a metal surface plays out. Okay, okay, let's focus. This thing is moving fast. We need to slow it down a bit. How do we do that, Ramen? Let me check what the machinist wrote down for us. A long pause, the whining static sound that started playing when the ship took off, took off seems to be increasing in frequency. It sounds like the ship is picking up pace. Suddenly, what sounds like someone pulling and pushing on every button they can as quickly as possible plays out. Ramen? That lever you just ripped out, Toma. That was how we slowed this thing down. We're going too fast. We're going to crash. We need to try to... The recording cuts off there. Mm. Poor people. I hope they made it out okay. I mean, the rest of this 
ship looks pretty much intact. I mean, not the rest of it, but the rest of the cockpit, I mean. Ooh. What? Are we going to do a dance number now? What? Who is this? Are you looking for a calibrator? Yes. I nod and Saima looks gleeful. She's always been a mischief maker. You won't find it here. I've hidden it. You'll never find it. What a jerk. <laughs> Give it back. No, I don't think I will. Saima laughs off my irritation. I compose myself. I'm not going to give her the satisfaction. I'll give you the calibrator. I'll give it to you, but I want some beetles. Oh, no. I knew I was going to need to get those beetles. That's the point. No. No. No, it's not a fair trade. Just give me what's mine. <laughs> That's a fair trade, isn't it? Something you want for something I want. Beetles. Mother. Ugh. I stifle a sigh. Perhaps some of the adults in the camp know where I can find some. Yeah, I know where to find them. I just have no bloody clue how to catch them. Find out how to catch beetles. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Ugh. And here I thought this would be easy. Yeah, I'm just going to run you over, kid. Just freaking... Ugh. Oh, excuse me, rock. I was trying to run over a kid. My bad. Um... Who have I, I not talked to? They might know something about beetles. I think I climbed up there to begin with. Ah! Uh, excuse me. What? Ah, excuse me. Ah, okay. What is here? There's like a whole underground little shrine here. That's kind of cool. Abexi red dye, the dye bottle for the color of the Abexi red bike. Cool! So we've got bike customization as well? That's cool. Alright. The pacing of this game is really um, reminding me... Oh, shoot. It's really reminding me of like old... Um, older Japanese games. Um, where... Like, I'm, th I'm thinking of, like, Star Ocean and things like that, where you're kind of just, like, going around and doing a bunch of little things. Um, oh! Bucket. What do I do with the bucket? What do you need? Umar is a man of few words. There's a bucket for you. And he's nothing if not consistent. Okay, well, okay. Well, I guess I can't get that bucket anymore. There's another bucket. Hey, look! Money? Money! Okay. I need... I guess... I'll go back up. Maybe I'll talk to somebody I've already talked to before. That, um, that old lady seems very knowledgeable. Maybe she knows something about catching bugs. I guess. Gotta ask around camp for bug catching advice. Another pearl. Alright. I could ask about catching beetles. That... For, I could ask about it for that wretched child. Do you know somewhere... What do you know about Simon's... Ooh. What do you know about Simon's hiding place? I know she spends a lot of time in the cave under the camp. You should have a look down there. A little, little glider. It's so strange being called that. I tell Jaddy how strange it is being called glider instead of sable or even clan child. Just trying to get you used to it. She seems to really like it. Maybe I like it too. My little glider. Aww. I, I think I, that that's kind of cool. I'm, I don't want to do the bugs. I just found that cave. Maybe it is down there. Ooh. Get out of my way. I'm going to take your stuff. Do I see it? I don't see it. Oh, oh, I go through here. But I have to crouch using the C button. There we go. Yes. Oh, thank goodness. I really didn't want to catch bugs. Oh, thank goodness. That miserable child. It's so awesome. Ha ha. Got my stuff from you. Now I'm gonna gloat. Sama shrieks when she sees the calibrator in my hand and then bursts into tears under the mask. You leave, you'll leave, you'll leave on the glide and you'll never come back. Just like Yara did. Don't you miss her too? You were her friend before she left. 
I don't know how I feel about this kid now. I miss her too. No one has heard from Yara in years. There are rumors, of course, but she has never written to us. Wish I could st say I didn't understand wanting to leave the Abexi behind. Alright. Back to the top of the mountain. Come on. Up we go. So far I haven't used the gliding too, too much. It's been pretty much just a matter of... getting from one place to another if you're trying to cross a crevasse. Alright, we've got our three pieces. We're going to go and talk to this lady here, the machinist. Um, and I'm going to take a quick break here so that we can do so. Now we've got everything and we're at the top of the mountain. And we're going to finally build our bloody bike, so let's do this. Return to Sizzo with the parts and it Mm. I returned to Sizzo with the parts. Man, I can't read today. I returned to Sizzo with the parts, and it's as she waves me over. And it's, and it's as she waves. Oh, gosh. Am I going insane? Or is this a, a clerical error here? I returned to Sizzo with the parts, and it's as she waves me over that I feel... Oh, and it is as she waves me over that I feel a pang of sadness in my chest. I really thought I was having, like, an aneurysm, and I was, like, not reading things correctly. When I when will I see her again once I am gone? Okay. All right, Sizzo, are you ready to assemble a bike of your own? Yes. I'm ready. Then let us head to the workshop. Cool. I think this is where like my favorite part of the game is going to be is in building and maintaining these bikes. Sizzo relaxes in the workshop. It isn't that she's particularly rigid or anxious or ordinarily, but there's a certain calm beauty that one truly appreciates when Sizzo is in her element. I wonder if it's this way with all machinists. What you must understand, Sable, is that the components you acquired, they fit together, not by chance, not by effort, but by nature. They belong to her. They have always belonged to her. All we are doing is assembling her from what she has already been. I nod and feel a soft buzzing in my ears. Among my clan, we believe that machinists have name or that machines have names held for ages like deep secrets unheard by those unequipped to listen. We will find this one's name together. Cool. Quest updated ships of old. Alright. So we got the three pieces there. E. Can throw it. I can imagine I gotta put it here. Gliding bike booster. Okay booster. Let's go to this part. Oop. I guess we gotta do this part first. Oh, so we got some wings coming down here to put this together. E. Gliding bike wings. Cool. And then that looks like it's gonna be the front part. There we go. And this is the front. And I painted red <laughs> because I got that dye in the last little section here. Alright, let's talk to you. Scissor relaxes. Oh, same thing. Okay, you're just gonna tell me the same thing I already heard from you. Okay, let's find this one's name then. I guess I gotta push this button. This button? Is this the button? No? Got all the pieces. Put them all in the bike. Bike together. just didn't give me a prompt. Oh boy. Look at that. Speak to Sizzo. Look at that. E. Listen. Sizzo tilts her head for a moment, leaning closer to, all at once I know the hover bike's name. Simoon. I say it in a whisper to let Sizzo know. Simoon. Sea Moon. Well done, Sable. What sort of a name is that? I ask Sizzo what sort of name it is, and if it speaks to any particular clan or culture. Sizzo shrugs, mostly to herself. I tell Simoon that I'm eager to know her better, and Sizzo looks quite proudly at the both of us. An odd blessing, perhaps, but Sizzo is prone to such things, and I can read in her tone that it was meant quite sweetly. Oh, and here. 
take this. I got a machinist badge. I thank Sizzo twice for good measure and give it a bow. Or give her a bow. Get you right, my bike? Aw, oh, man. Well, I guess that's it for this demo. I was really hoping I'd get to actually ride my bike, but I get the point of it. I get the, there's an exploration here. I see how the other bike works. So, definitely a curious game. But one that's very relaxing to play, not entirely stressful, except when I didn't know where to go. Uh, <laughs> and had to figure it out. And there was an annoying child in there somewhere. I'm really, really glad there was an option not to collect the bugs. Because I would have really beat my head into the sand for that one. Alright. Well, folks, that was Sable. Our little preview of this game. I hope you folks have a great day. That this sets you off on the right path. And I will see you in the next game.